The question is that the motion be agreed to. I call the honourable member for Leichhardt. Thank you very much indeed, Mr Deputy Speaker. I rise today to acknowledge the life of a local legend, Herbert Junior C. Pui, who passed away on the 21st of October at the age of 85. Junior was born on the uh, 2nd of May 1931 to a well-known Innisfail family, direct descendants of Tom C. Pui, a Chinese migrant who came to Queensland to work in the Palmer River gold fields in the, 19, in the 1870s. Tom liked, liked to, uh, searching uh, for gold, trying to catch the moon at the bottom of the sea. Uh, but his luck changed when he answered an ad for labourers to develop a sugar plantation on the Johnson River. He saved money and purchased a peddling business, which developed into a merchant store, and by 1925 was a substantial development uh, a department store in Innisfail. Tom and his wife had five children, one of whom was Herbert, Junior's father. Junior's formative years coincided with, uh, with a time uh, of post-war prosperity. Innisfail was booming in the family business. Sepoy and Sons was uh, prospering and would eventually become the largest department store in North Queensland. Junior inherited a love of music from his father. Uh, he used to play saxophone to entertain the uh, US troops at the end of World War II. In fact, Junior and his cousins, Bernie Lee Long and uh, Brian Howe Key, are credited with launching far North, the, the far North Queensland uh, jazz scene. They were described as inseparable as they played their way through local clubs and social dances. They formed the band Three Blind Mice in 1968, and Junior's first wife, Anne, sometimes joined the band as a singer and dancer. Both of his children have become talented musicians. Having heard him play many times, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, I certainly became one of, these, one of those local fans of Junior's, and I can attest uh, very much to the fact that uh, his music had the ability to make the audience stop and listen intently and applaud tremendously at the end. Junior's hobbies include water skiing and game fishing. He was quoted in the Sydney Morning Herald article on December the 3rd, 1978, titled Skippers, Homes are where the big fish bite. The journalist writes of spending a day on the Great Barrier Reef with uh, Innisfail motel owner Junior C. Poy and other keen marlin fishermen. And uh, he wrote, as dolphins circled the boat, we caught 45 scat and mackerel, mackerel, averaging one to two kilos in an hour. A haul Sydney fisherman would never match. Then we baited the lines and we waited for the marlin to bite. The journalist was fortunate enough to haul in a 1,501 pound marlin, which was tagged and let go. But Junior's comment to all of this, and it was, anywhere in the world, this would be, have been a good day's fishing but by our standards, it's a bad one. A talented businessman and in the hospitality, uh, in the hospitality industry, Junior built a motel in 1971 and even called it the Black Marlin Hotel and Restaurant. He spent countless hours building with his own hands. He was also involved in numerous community projects, including the Motorcycle Club, Game Fishing Club and the Chamber of Commerce. This dedication to community is something that is characteristic of the wider Sepoy family. Thousands of music fans enjoyed Junior's tunes at local establishments around far north Queensland for many years, and in 2012, he was awarded the Cairns Regional Council Australia Day Cultural Award. Uh, at the time, he had been entertaining the far north with his skills on the saxophone for more than 60 years. Uh, even during his retirement, he would practice the sax all for most of the day and ensure, uh, and ensure that he continued his love of fishing whenever the weather allowed. He recorded his first jazz CD, uh, CD at the age of 69 and continued to donate his time and talent to any worthwhile cause. Junior was a, de a devoted husband to second wife Andrea, loving father to John and Tommy and cherished grandfather who will be truly missed in our community. At his funeral in Cairns on the 28th of October, friends and family remembered a man who was deeply involved with a place he loved and lived his life to the fullest. Junior's son, Tommy C. Poy, recalled his dad's very, very strong sense of community and sense of fun. Junior was one of those very special people in our community who clearly achieved iconic status. He was farewelled with a jazz band jamming on the streets, something he would have certainly have loved, Vale Junior C. Poy.